In addition to still photos, you can also add video clips to shows made with ProShow Web. For this nature show that I'm working on, to add a video clip, all I have to do is click the Add Content button in the toolbar. Then, tell ProShow Web where to find the video I want to use. I can import videos that I've already uploaded to other online sources, or click here to add a video for my computer. Just like adding photos, I'll browse my computer for a video clip. Then, press the Open button to begin uploading and adding the video to my show. When working with video, it's always best to use short clips. ProShow Web lets you use as many clips as you want in your show, up to 30 seconds a piece for premium members. Once added, you'll notice this little movie icon and the length of the video clip appear at the bottom of the thumbnail. This helps me quickly identify the video clip. Just like a photo, I can move the video anywhere in my show by clicking and dragging it to a new position. If you have more than one video clip in your show, be sure to alternate between photos and videos. This will help your show flow more naturally. I can also apply custom effects to a video clip exactly the same way I would with my photos. With the video selected, click the FX button in the toolbar. Then, find an effect you like and press the Apply Effect button at the bottom. I can see in the thumbnail that the clip I've uploaded is around 12 seconds long. I can edit the length of the video by using ProShow Web's video trimming feature. To trim a video, first I'll select the clip. Then, up here in the toolbar, I'll click on this video icon to open the Trim Video window. In this window, I have several options. I can play my video clip. If my video clip has audio, I can mute the audio by clicking this toggle button. And I can edit the length of my video clip. Beneath the preview window, I can see the start, length, and end times for my clip. Just above that is this orange bar, and this is where I'll go to make edits to the video. To change the starting point of my video, all I have to do is click the edge marker on the left and drag it into a new position. As I move the marker, the preview will show me a still image from that new point in the video. Visually, this helps me find the perfect spot. Beneath the bar, I'll also see the start and length times change. To trim some time off the end, I just need to repeat this over here on the right. I'll click and drag this marker at the end of my video and drag it to the left a little. By clicking and dragging these markers, I'm able to take a clip that was about 12 seconds long and tell ProShow Web to only use 7 seconds in the middle. Now all I have to do is press apply to save the changes. Now if I decide that I want to go back and change the edit at any time, there's no problem. Even after building a video, I can always go back and make changes. To adjust my edit, I'll simply go back to the Trim Video option and move the Start and End markers. After I'm finished making the change, I'll press the Apply button again. Adding video clips is just as easy as adding photos and can really help bring your shows to life. Try using some video clips when building your next slideshow with ProShow Web.